So this is what we're dealing with today. So we've got sound, camera, lights, a bit of a backlight there. Hello. My name's Mark Knight. I'm a filmmaker. And basically, this film is the start of a series where I'm going to be talking about the behind the scenes stories of some of the projects that have helped shape my filmmaking career. For almost a quarter of a century, I've been making films across a variety of mediums, styles and genres and been very fortunate to experience many different working environments. Why am I sharing these projects? Uh, to be honest, this is a marketing exercise for me. In most instances, the work that I'm sharing will have been written, produced, directed, and in most cases, edited by myself. So it's me showing what I'm capable of doing. Um, but it's also gonna be a series of films that I think will be educational and hopefully entertaining and teaching people how to make effective corporate communications because I've made a lot of corporate comms. I've made a lot of different types of projects using a lot of different types of mediums. And I've got a lot of uh, things that I'd like to share basically to help you make more effective business communications. Using my previous projects is a strategy to kickstart conversations about the most effective ways to create corporate communications using video. I'm in a unique position to talk about this sector because my career has spanned the most rapid progression in film production techniques in history. Basically, I'm old enough to understand how it was traditionally done, but I'm young enough to understand that that's not how it's gonna happen in the future. In the last 20 years, this could be represented in feature films by the rising dominance of franchise productions. Marvel, DC, I'm Batman. Avatars, all that noise. In television, by the emergence of non-scripted reality shows and big budget box sets. And in advertising, by the demise of TV commercials and the rising influence of social media. The world of corporate communications is seeing similar upheavals and levels of change. The problem for business people is that they have their day jobs to do, making products, selling services, whatever it may be. But if you wanna see success, you now have the added uh, well, task of having to use video in order to see success. It's a tricky situation to be in that loads of businesses are facing. Um, basically, it's having the filmmaking knowledge to get the content made effectively of a high quality, uh, but also understanding how people uh, and audiences are consuming video content so that you're not just making content, you're also having a strategy about how people are gonna actually see what you want them to see. How are you actually gonna get in front of people's eyeballs. It's a really tricky task, and especially when it's an additional requirement on top of what you're already doing. So hopefully, that is what these films are gonna do. It's gonna help you to find ways of tackling that big obstacle that all businesses are gonna be facing. I believe I can offer this uh, assistance and help in tackling this challenge because you see, I've made a lot of what you would call corporate communications and I can provide insight based on what I have done correctly, but also on what I've done badly or where I, I've made a project that's not quite tick the box and which I've learned from essentially. So yeah, by going over individual projects, I can create content that educates and informs people about how to more effectively create video communications. And simultaneously, I can promote my skills in that service as well. Now, I don't wanna limit the scope of my infinite wisdom, but I reckon there's probably three distinct groups that would most benefit from my uh, ramblings, musings on filmmaking, uh, and they are, for any aspiring filmmaker, anyone interested in videography or any elements of video content creation, my experiences 
will allow you to understand the obstacles and hurdles that are inherent in all video productions. How did the project come about? What were the struggles in getting your concepts across? What challenges did you face on the production? How did you work with the team? How did you put it together in post? All these things will be covered and hopefully we'll end up having like a repertoire of educational resources for anyone who's looking to get into the filmmaking industry from a very unique perspective of a very mediocre filmmaker. This guy. The second group would be established creatives, those people who are already working in the business. I reckon my experiences and uh, insight will help you make better video productions for yourselves and for your clients. There are so many moving parts involved with any video project that there are infinite possibilities for how to find solutions. From being a runner in Soho at the back end of last century to winning awards at Cannes, my filmmaking career has been massively varied. One week you're in Turin, sticking a bus on top of an apartment block. The next, you're a kilometre underground, mining a natural fertiliser. The result being that I have terabytes of real world case studies with tips and tricks for how to and how not to create video communications. So if you've got some thoughts about any project that I'm talking about, please get in touch below and drop me a line in the comments. The third group of people who will find some value in my content are business leaders. As we've already mentioned, uh, video is a very powerful communication tool. I would suggest that if you aren't using it already, that you'd start to do so in some capacity. If you are using it, how is that process going for you? Have you seen a return on investment? Uh, have you seen positive outcomes from it? Love to hear what your experiences have been. Whatever your relationship with video production is at the moment, I guarantee that I have a project with a similar set of circumstances to whatever you're currently facing. And I'll have an insight that will allow you to create an effective video solution to achieve your business goals. If you can't wait for me to make the film that outlines your current business challenge, then by all means, drop a line in the comments below. I'll do my best to offer the fresh perspective on how you can create an effective business communication to tackle your business needs. To achieve your business goals. Achieve. So to kick off this new series of films, I'm going to be introducing you to a live action award winning film that I made for Toyota that's called Where's Barry? So if you work in health and safety, learning and development, human resources or the automotive industry, I think that this film will be of interest to you. Where's Barry is a behavioural health and safety communication designed to be used as part of a live training event for the staff at a Toyota manufacturing plant. The film was originally used in two parts, with the first introducing a group of fictional Toyota employees who were discussing their missing colleague, Barry, who has been involved in an accident outside of work. Where's Barry? As with most health and safety films, it culminates in an accident. The second film was designed to end the session and is a completely different beast. It starts with a woman speaking directly to the audience. Hi. Long time no see. Seductive and playful to start with, she becomes ever more manic and deranged. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I can get a little intense, a little out of control. I guess that's where I get my nickname from, the marriage wrecker. Suits me, don't you think? The payoff being that she is the embodiment of an accident, tempting you to your fate, which she explains through her presence in the first film storyline. Where's Barry? Oh, poor Barry. My personal involvement with the project is that I devised, wrote, produced, directed, and edited both films. Now they want me to star in it, write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. For me personally, Where's Barry was the validation that I could create corporate video that competed with the biggest corporate film producers in the industry. The 
film went on to win multiple awards, including two golds at the Cannes Film Festival. It led to more work with Toyota. It was directly responsible for several large commissions and generating more than £100,000 worth of business. And it was all done on a budget of less than £10,000. Oh, come on. Look, I'm not the best filmmaker out there. I'm not even the best at any one discipline, not even close. But given the right set of circumstances, I can work some magic. It's only with hindsight that I can look back on the Toyota project and just realize how pivotal it was. And basically, I was only capable of making that film because of all the experiences and the expertise that I built up leading up to that point. And afterwards, all the opportunities that I had came because of that film. If you'd like to familiarise yourself with the film, then there's a link at the end of this film to the version that was submitted to the festivals. Whoa. I'll also be releasing the films individually uh, with some guidance about how they were used as part of the training session. So that might be useful for people who work in L&D or in health and safety to actually see how these were resources could be used as training materials. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sharing my old projects and sharing the tips and tricks that I've learned and hopefully helping you make better video communications. If that sounds like something you'd find valuable, I'd love it if you could join me on the journey. Click the subscribe, click the follow, click the like, click the share, do all that great stuff. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye.